Hey, I want to answer a couple questions I've been getting about the vaccine regularly. Uh, question number one goes like this. I heard that the vaccine was developed using cells from aborted babies. Shouldn't the Christian then not use it because abortion is wrong? Good question. The vaccine was developed with a strain of cells that goes back to one aborted baby about 50 years ago. They kept using this one strain in different medical research, and they did, in fact, use it in developing the vaccine. Now, if a pharmaceutical company said, you know, to develop a vaccine, we need to go kill babies, that is an easy no for the Christian. But since this baby was already aborted, and they are using what happened to save lives now, I think you could accurately argue that God took what was meant for evil and is actually using it for good. The baby was murdered, but that baby is now saving lives. Jesus says in Mark 3 verse 4, are we to save life or destroy it? And what we can do now is save life. So I don't believe there's a reason to not get the vaccine based on the true idea that the Christian is always for life. Another question I get, and it normally comes in the form of a statement, is, this is government overreach. Well, I agree. I'm saddened that our government feels the need to mandate vaccines in different settings. I'm saddened also that much of the public goes along without much pushback. However, I have to be careful as a Christian that my personal political convictions don't drive decisions about health and loving my neighbor. See, I'm the type of person who, if you tell me I have to do it, I'm not going to do it. Like, this question is asked by a lot of people like me, so I realize the irony is if the government actually said, you're not allowed to get the vaccine, the same people saying this would be like, well, you can't tell me what to do. I'm going to get it three times if I feel like it. 1 Peter 2.17 says this, honor the emperor. And he lived under an evil emperor where there was no democracy and no free speech. So I personally agree there's a lot of government overreach but we as Christians are called to honor the government authorities question number three what about my body scripture says it's a temple isn't the vaccine putting something in my body that we don't know long-term effects of well I thought this too when the vaccine first came out because they used the phrase emergency authorization and I was a little leery of that I don't want something in my body that's only got an emergency authorization but then they did the full set of testing. And while we don't know what could happen 50 years from now, there is a tiny fraction of a point of a percentage that some side effect could pop up. Here's what we do know. We know that for multiple months in a row now, between 95 and 99.9% of all COVID hospitalizations are for those who are unvaccinated. And that's why more than half of the country has been vaccinated. So there are multiple data points by now telling us that it creates a safe environment for others if you get vaccinated. So it seems to me it's a great way to live out the second greatest commandment, love your neighbor as yourself. A couple final thoughts. I know these are serious questions. Many of the people asking me these questions are at risk of losing your job if you don't get a vaccine. And Paul makes clear in scripture, don't violate your conscience, meaning not don't violate what you feel, that's not what he means. He means don't go against what God clearly teaches in the New Testament. And I know you feel a lot is at risk with this, because it is. But I challenge you to think of it maybe from a different perspective of if you lose your job when it comes to the influence you have and your example and witnessing about Jesus. See, here's a thought that occurred to me. When we in our church send people on mission trips to other countries, Occasionally, that country to get in requires a vaccine that we don't need in this country. So the people on our team will willingly go to their doctor and get that vaccine because their attitude is, I'm going to serve the Lord, so of course I'll do that. So it seems to me that as a Christian, if you have an opportunity to influence your coworkers for Christ and through your job influence the world for Christ, maybe it's worth getting a vaccine just for that. Whether you get vaccinated or not is your decision. Seems to me to be the wise thing to do. If you want a further resource, Dr. Francis Collins, who leads the NIH 
very solid, committed Christian who talks openly about his faith. He did two interviews about this topic that really helped me understand this from an educated Christian's perspective. And we're going to link those in the description of this video. But here's my prayer for you. My prayer for you is that you have wisdom as you navigate what God says in the New Testament, that you will take into consideration living on mission, loving your neighbor, honoring government leaders as we're instructed to do, and most importantly, that you will engage this topic with humility so that a watching world sees that you walk and talk about this differently than anybody else around you.